my book, uh, Wicked Enchantments, The Pendle Witches and Their Magic, very much grew out of my work here at the museum. Uh, when I first read the pamphlet about the case, which was written in 1612, I was amazed at the references to magic that it contained and how similar they were to the types of magic that we have here in the museum. In fact, the case began um, when a young wise woman, Alison Device, quarrelled with a peddler who refused to sell her some pins. Pins were very widely used in magic, um, particularly in love magic. And here we have a picture from the museum's Richelle collection, which shows how to perform a love spell using an image made out of knotted cord and pierced with a pin. Alison Device also claimed to have seen a rival wise woman putting a curse on someone. And this wasn't something that she had seen in the normal physical sense. Um, it was something that she had seen by divination. Um, wise women and uh, cunning men often performed this service for their communities, identifying witches by scrying, generally using a mirror. Um, and here we have a display of scrying mirrors in the museum. Alison Device's brother, the cunning man James Device, was also arrested for witchcraft um, at their family home, Morkin Tower. And when he was arrested, the constable conducted a search and found some human teeth buried in the ground. The constable naturally, perhaps, assumed that these had been used for cursing someone. But in fact, here in the museum, we have a fragment of a skull with a human tooth. And this was, um, uh, this was used for healing. Uh, people would wear these in a little bag around their necks and they were used to treat illnesses such as seizures. In fact, there are quite a number of objects made from human bone here in the museum. Another interesting example are these human bone rings. They were probably worn to treat illnesses such as arthritis and cramp. People used all manner of strange things for healing, protection and good luck. Moore's feet are mentioned in a number of witchcraft trial records. For example, John Fian, who was caught up in the North Berwick witch hunt, carried a mole's foot in his purse, which was supposed to ensure that he would never be short of money. Rather similar is this charm consisting of a bag that held three bumblebees, and this was hung up in a house to ensure prosperity. Magic stones were also very important, particularly hagstones, which are stones with a natural hole in them. Hagstones were often used as farm protection charms, often together with an old iron key, which combined the protective power of iron with the symbolism of the key of heaven. And in fact, Alison and James Device used a spoken charm to cure the sick which referred to Jesus holding a healing wand in one hand and the key of heaven in another.